I mean, I guess if you're prepared to, to fish at this time of year, Adam, you're ready for it. You got the slickers, you got into Cabela's, you're all dude it out. Yeah, I mean, we know it's going to be raining and kind of windy at times here across western Washington during this time of the year, and you just get out and you try to do the best with what you can. Now, we expect today to be one of those windier and rainier days as another disturbance starts to push on into the coast, and maybe by the end of the week, we'll start to see more of a break from a lot of the action as we head on closer to the Thanksgiving holiday. Let's take a look at what's happening. Looking out that sound right now, currently sitting at 52 degrees, so that warm wind has been around, and it's helped us up into the 50s here this afternoon. We expect those numbers to start to change though shortly as we get more of the rain on into place. A little higher up into some of the passes, Stephen Pass right now. I think if you're going to be driving around there, it should be okay. No worries with none of that moisture there yet for you. And it looks like around Snoqualmie Pass, uh, we're going to be fine there too with snow, snow levels a little higher up for the time being. But those will start to come back down later on into the evening, so keep that in mind. There are the winds coming out of the south around 15 to 25. You got gusts that are even higher higher than that northern sound closer to 30 to 35 33 right now at Everett Oak Harbor right now sitting at 44 miles per hour for your current gust and a look at those temperatures right now upper 40s lower 50s for a lot of us. So as we go on here into the latter part of the afternoon, expect the rain really to start up across the Olympic Peninsula. I think here within the next hour or two, we'll start to see some of that heavier rain arriving by about 4 5 p.m. later on this evening we're going to see that yes we are noticing some heavier rain and some stronger winds pushing through with that line of rain and that will make for messy and a pretty rainy and wet evening commute for you and that will continue on towards the east and we'll see more of the scattered showers around some heavier pockets but the decrease in activity as we head into tomorrow will be more the theme as it will gradually begin to let up for us and by tomorrow night not only are we seeing some drier conditions i think we're starting to see maybe a few partial breaks in the skies too in some spots and the snow more of that is going to be around for the passes in the mountains later on this evening and tonight so we'll start to see those pick up between about three to six tonight and then into the day tomorrow maybe additional two to four could be on the way but looks like that will start to taper off too as we start to see the moisture move out of here temperatures warming up into the upper 40s and lower 50s today. We'll dip down to around 41 in Seattle. Everett down to 41 and Tacoma around that same number. 49 for Wednesday. We'll be at 48 heading into Thursday and for Friday back up to 50 degrees. And uh, Amity, uh, you see those rain icons at the end of the week heading into the weekend. I wouldn't be too concerned about those. A lot of the time throughout that four day stretch probably is going to be more dry than not. Maybe early into Saturday morning is going to be the best bet of some persistent heavier rain in place. But overall, I think uh, we're going to see a pretty nice weekend. Ahead. Well, that's good because people are ready to put up their Christmas lights. I know, right? Or their holiday I lights. I think some have already gotten a start. A, a, a <laughs> lot of my neighbors have. Yeah. And some people missed out on that one dry day we had Saturday, so they're ready. It's the All season. Right, it's time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Adam.